you see it's completely doesn't you know it doesn't work and my car won't start uh, I've been parking this car here for like over two weeks and it's a uh, you know, pretty cold winter so I guess that's probably the, the battery is uh, it's not working so uh, I think I'm done with the car today unfortunately um, but I think it's a good time actually to learn how to jump start your car because otherwise you're gonna spend like 100 euro to ask for road assistance right so um, yeah let's uh, let's go on YouTube and find out how to do it as usual, I went on YouTube and searched for how to jump start a car and then I found out this video. It's quite interesting. Basically, you don't need two cars to, to jump start each other. Instead, uh, people have invented a battery pack that you can carry all the time with you and jump start a car with a portable battery. Isn't this battery that the one I'm looking for? So I went on Amazon and then uh, yeah, I found so many different kinds of uh, battery, uh, I don't know which one to choose, so I just choose the, uh, the cheapest one, I hope it works. I know it won't work, but I just want to give it a, another try. So. I got in my car and I tried to start it, but obviously it won't work, right? So let's jump start. So my battery sits in the engine bay under the hood. I plug in the jump start cable into the battery. So the red goes to the positive terminal, the black uh, goes to the negative one. One very important thing to always keep in mind is you need to connect the cable to the positive terminal first and then the negative one. Otherwise you may cause a short circuit when you accidentally touch the clip with some metal piece. It's now the moment of choose. Yes, man, it worked. After you have successfully jump started the car, you better take off the battery quickly. Reverse the steps, take off the negative first and then the positive first. I think it saved me at least 50 euros. So if I made another jump start, I make the money back. So after you have jump started the car, let the car run for like 30 minutes or so. The battery should recharge itself by the engine quite well. Um, you know, it depends. And especially in winter, shit happens when you don't drive your car that often. It's actually quite annoying to do it every now and then, right? But at least I made the money back. Now the question is, do I need to replace my battery or not? Before we make any decision, let's test the battery first. This is a 12 voltage battery. So it looks like it's all right. I tested it after two hours parking my car there. So I think there's no big issue with it. So what have I learned this time? The principle of jumping start a car. And how to jump start a car with a portable battery. And how to use a multimeter. By the way, I will put the link of how to use a multimeter in the description below uh, from other YouTubers. So you can have a look if you're interested. But it's quite straightforward actually. Last but not least, I learned that you can save a lot of money and time actually by doing a few minutes of learning yourself if you call a road assistance you have to wait an hour for them to arrive to you and jump start your car in two minutes and you have to pay 50 euros if you go to a dealership 
and they will simply replace your battery and charge you hundreds of euros. And most importantly, you know what? You miss the fun part of learning a new skill. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you next time.